Hello and welcome to a new R programming webcast. Today I want to show you how to reproduce this interactive map of Switzerland using the R programming language and using the leaflet R package. And in particular, we will see how to create this uh, interactive tooltips on how to create these little tables inside it, as you can see over here, on how to customize them and also how to create this customized legend over here with the text on the different colors that you want and this interactive map is actually inspired by an official uh, Swiss national map which is actually this interactive map from the Swiss Federal Statistical Office uh, official website. As always, if you want to follow along with the tutorial, you can uh, download the R code on felixanalytic.com. And once you subscribe to my newsletter, you will receive an automatic email from me with the URL of my GitHub account where you can download all the R script. That being said, let's get started in R Studio by installing the necessary R packages on loading them. We will need the tidyverse for general data wrangling, the BFS R package, which is a package I uh, develop and maintain to get the data from the Swiss Federal Statistical Office, the leaflet R package to access this uh, JavaScript leaflet library, an extra package to access uh, all the extra functions, the SF package to work with simple features in R, and the NIT R package to use this cable function. Now, as always, I want to show you the full process to reproduce this interactive graph. So first we want to search the data set we want to work on. And using this function, we will get the full list of all the tables that contain the last and names keywords. All right, now that it's downloaded, we can have a look at this data frame and see we have eight different data set that contain last names from Swiss cities so we will want to have the one by common over here so we can string detect using the stringer r package to get this and pull the asset number for the common and we see we have actually two different asset numbers over here so we'll just stick the first one you can also get the metadata of this specific file or asset by running the bfs get asset metadata and if you print this metadata over here uh, you will see different information about it now we will download this file and read it in r so the first thing is to create a temporary file but if you want to save it in your working directory, you can just change a desk file with a specific string over here. So you will have it saved. We don't have to download it again and again. And then we will read it with the read underscore CSV and already remove two columns. So let's do this. Right now, our data set has been downloaded and is accessible in R. So we will do some quick cleaning. First, we want to get the top five of the uh, last names by commons. We run this code over here using tidyverse functions. Now we want to create this HTML table. So for that, I created this function over here. Let me show it to you fully. For each commune name, so GDE, which stands for Gemeinde in German, we will take one unique Swiss commune and create a cable table as a, in an HTML format with the Swiss commune at the top. So now if we run this uh, create table function on the given uh, Swiss commune, for example, Adolf over here, the output will be this uh, HTML text over here. So it's indeed Adolf. And now that we have our function, we will loop over each Swiss commune and add this uh, HTML string within a new column called table. So let's run this code over here. Now let's view this specific data frame. And as you can see here in this table column, we have uh, the HTML code, which you can customize as you want to create your own tooltip in Leaflet. All right, last step now before creating the interactive graph, we have the data, but we need the geodata, which we will get using the BFS get base map function, also from the BFS R package. And using the geom argument with 
polk here for example we will get the communes and geographic data so if i print this commune sf object we will see indeed we have a simple feature object with all the different swiss commune on their related geometries we can do the same to get the swiss lakes and now we want to join these communes with our data set by id on game id number over here finally we can create our interactive map uh, using a leaflet javascript library first we want to get the bounding box of switzerland we can customize our legend with beans here for the different percentages we can retake the color palette in red on our example use the color bean function to build this uh, palette function and also use string here for the legend labels that are uh, equivalent to the beans over here and finally i can show you how to use the leaflet function on the different function from the leaflet r package to create this interactive map of switzerland so first you will call the leaflet function with your join data set as an sf object you can choose the height on the white of your interactive widget so here it's how big it is on your screen and once uh, you did that you can uh, add a pipe to add the polygons function which allows you to, to create this color petrization we can choose the white on the opacity on the colors of the borders of each common we choose also the opacity of the filling color which is here uh, customized by these red categories we will call for filling each of our common according to the bin uh, using the pal function here by a percentage by common so this is the variable of or column and this is calling this function over here and uh, we will call to create tooltip we will use the table column we just uh, previously created over here with this create function and as a table here a uh, column so this is this variable we will use the lapply function to call on html uh, function of the r package here that i all forgot to include in the loading of script so i will add it after i finish making this video so once you download your script you would have it also installed so let's run first this chunk of code as you can see we have our interactive graph already with the labels so it's the tooltip that is here we have our zoom that we want to customize a bit later and we want to add the legend as well as removing this gray background into white and we want Want to add the lakes that are missing so we'll do that now so first we want to add the lake we want to add in the tooltip only the name of uh, the lakes using the name we don't want to add any border on these lakes will be filled with this gray color over here so if we run uh, this code over here as you can see we have our lake in gray now what is missing is also the legend so we can add it a title with this br html symbol to uh, make uh, two different lines we can also customize the format so this is a function i find somewhere on stake overflow so you have the legend label object that we put over here as a string and then using this function with the type cuts and p arguments you will have the label correctly added and uh, we will use <coughs> again the same palette this time we don't have this symbol so uh, just notice that and the opacity will be uh, one for 100 percent so if we run this code and we look at the viewer we will should see indeed that our legend John is here and finally i want to show you three extra functions to customize even more your leaflet interactive map so first we want to add this add tiles function so you are sure you have an empty background using this url template equal an empty string and using the options on the provider tile options function here you can customize the zooming so we have a minimum zoom of eight on the maximum of a zoom of 12. 
because if the users click here, you can zoom in or out in a bit way here. So that's not what we want. We want to block the zoom. So we stare at our initial zooming level, which is eight here with the minimum zoom. So if we run uh, now all this chunk of code with the add tiles function, you will see that the zoom here out is blocked. Now we cannot zoom in or out. And if you want to zoom in, we can zoom in to this level now it's gray you cannot zoom more if i click here i cannot do it more now the other problem i have is if we scroll up we will lose our visualization so we want to block the ability for the users to go too much in up or down on the left on the right and to do so we will use a set max bound function using the uh, bounding box we previously created using the uh, st underscore b box function from the sf package and if you run this code over here now the user will not be able too high or too low and there is this nice effect that blocks the users to go too much up on right on left on below and finally uh, using this leaflet extras r package we will use a set map widget style function to um, make the background transparent which will be white by default so now if we run this full channel and save it as a map object over here and print this map object we will get uh, the visualization i showed you in the beginning of this video which is this nice interactive map of switzerland but for the uh, most observant of you, we are missing the title, the subtitles on extra things I added. So this is like a little bonus. I want to show you how to create a card with this map object in the middle where you can add uh, different elements uh, like a title, text in italic and the, an HTML card. Then you can save and put whatever you want on uh, your own projects and also customize uh, the height which is accessible with this bslib r package so if i run this code over here and zoom we will have our card object as an html page with our title our text in italic over here and our interactive graphic that is looking just as expected so once again if you want to run all this code on your own computer you can uh, join my newsletter on felix and com and once you subscribe you will receive this email from me with the, the url of my github account when you can get all this code i just showed you if you find this video useful feel free to like and even consider subscribing to my channel thank you so much for watching and i see you in another video take care bye bye